right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Masvidal was all the rage, right? Knocks out Darren Till. Fastest knockout in UFC history against Ben Askren. The BMF title against Nate Diaz. But then he ran into some champions, and now he gets back on the horse here tonight. Well, he's fighting the best of the best. And that is what you do when you win those types of fights. You push yourself into big moments. But tonight he has to use his skills. He's got to use his ability to defend takedowns, make this fight a stand-up affair. When you talk about a guy that wants to fight, you're talking about game bred Masvidal, a guy that spent time fighting bare knuckle, fighting in the backyard before he became a mixed martial artist. So this guy's a fighter. Let's see if he can make this fight take place where he needs it to in order to get a victory. Right, Tyron Woodley famously said years ago, Jorge Masvidal is the best pure boxer in the UFC. Got to get those hands going here tonight. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of Herb Dean, Ready. our referee for this one. Ready. Let's go. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Well, he's got good hands, but the kicks are leading the dance for him tonight. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Educated jab there by Jorge Game Red Masvidal. But not even just a jab, right? You watch Masvidal throw that jab. His backhand is always perfectly in place. Nothing is wasted. He's not loading up on his strikes. He's just letting it flow. Jorge Masvidal is a very educated boxer and it's showing in his performance tonight. Man, not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the chute. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Short up, we got here in the clinch by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. Let me see some damage. Goes upstairs, gets the foot to the 
target. High kick lands. Just misses with the straight right. Straight to the body there by the Korean Super Bowl. Let's keep it up. Trying to mark an elbow there to no avail. We cross the midpoint in round one. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the goal. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, 25 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Red Masvidal. Oh, he missed with that right hand. of this advantage in reach. Oh, nice kick. Nice side there by the champ. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, big right hand, yes. Nice punch lands over the top. Right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. you got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. This guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. So a nice job landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he's got a guillotine here. Oh. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, this might just be a matter of time. Oh, looks like he might get the finish here. This has to be it, John. It's got to be it. Ooh, sorry to catch up, but he got out. What a great job attacking the lock, rolling to your back, giving up the mount. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Second Let's round, go. straight ahead. All right, sit down, bud. That was awesome, great round. Another round in the books there. Everything you're throwing is landing. I want you to stay heavy with those kicks. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway, and his counter-striking is so good that it gives his opponent pause in terms of getting his own offense going because as soon as he strikes, he's getting a mouthful of teeth. Yes, he is a fantastic counter-striker. John, he has an ability to see what you're doing and counter it before you even understand what's going. It's in the eyes. It's in the eyes. Watch him. He is watching and processing what's about to happen. In his Kick checked effectively there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Masvidal has been nearly impossible to put away by knockout in his career. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. You could find that 
One shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's tasked to try to find that shot again. Mike gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Great job fighting behind the limp. Well, it's not always easy being a counter striker, but when you can execute the style this effectively, it really is something to behold. You'll see he'll try to draw the opponent in here yet again, and as soon as his opponent strikes, he'll try to use that wayward offense against him and get back to his countering game that really has been the big story in this one thus far. And watch the shot there. You can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, but he does a great job of doing just that. Oh, big head kick lands. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Masvidal's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. Crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. You think you got him trapped to try to hit him. Over two minutes now to go on the round. Well, not sure if I should knock his bite IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head chop. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee call in the doctor. At some point, you gotta take a look at him. He's so bruised, he's so battered, he's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on that. He has dominated this fight. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, nice. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Very nice leg kick there by Game Break. Close to this is beautiful. He's got a single collar tie. Oh, nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Final seconds here of round two. Beautiful job getting those hands up. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round, and how about the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead? That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter. But he has never looked this good. And that is that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster. So cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can...
can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. So at this point, with this type of... Oh! Huge right hand! Joy gets caught by that straight punch there. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive player. Lesson one, box class, hands up, chin down. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, nice. Oh, big left hook there. Good flow state, landing punch after punch. All right, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by the Korean Super Bowl. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude's got to check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Now lands a kick to the body. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Hospital. Oh. oh, flying knee to the head. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's in a lot of trouble now. 90 seconds to go now. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, great block there. Choi's now dealing with a cheat cut. One minute to go in the round. Flying knee gets to the target. Beautiful flying knee to the head. Oh, nice. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, I don't even look to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final bell. Joy's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not... <laughs> Seconds left. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Seconds winding down in round three. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round.
Well, the swelling on his face is extreme at this point in time. I'm not sure that the doctor's gonna let him continue here. Cutman hustling in, and he's gonna apply that end swell quickly. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that Nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. And now Masvidal's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Checks the leg kick. Nice crack there. Big right hook there by the champ. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurting for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. He's going at it now. Straight right hand, no good. Nice counter right hook there. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike lands. And now Masvidal's in half court. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? He's right going down. after that cut over and over again. And every time he lands, the cut gets worse. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet. And we are back underway. Under three minutes to go in round four. The Korean Superboy gets caught by the inside leg kick. Landed a solid punch there. Nice body shot. Oh, he is black and blue all over, maybe even dealing with a fractured rib, but the body strikes have been the narrative in this one. It feels like we're getting close to a stop. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he'd be able to take many more. We may be one body shot away from this guy just not being able to stand. Toughness on full display. He got beat by a better fighter than that. Beautiful job landing that head kick. I mean, this guy is really... Oh! Bruce Buffer now inside the octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. 
Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to see major strides made when it comes to his skill development. This might be a UFC champion.